Welcome to our lecture online, and here's a nice little example of how we calculate the change in the length due to thermal changes, temperature changes, of an object. In this case, let's say this is the Golden Gate Bridge, in case you couldn't tell what it was. And so the central span of the Golden Gate Bridge is 4,200 feet long. It is made out of steel. It's got some concrete structure on it, but there's primarily made out of steel, so when the temperature changes, the length of that stretch will change, and of course, for engineers, they have to figure out how to match the bridge section so that the, uh, the bridge will not get damaged as it expands and contracts because of the change in temperature. So let's say on a cold winter morning, it can be 35 degrees Fahrenheit in San Francisco, and on a hot day when the sun shines on the bridge, the steel of the bridge with the sun shining on it can reach temperatures 100 degrees Fahrenheit. How much will the length of the bridge change if it's 4,200 feet long? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert from the Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees. So the difference in the temperature, delta T, is equal to, you can tell, it's 65 degrees, 65 Fahrenheit degrees. So the first thing is we're going to convert from Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees. And of course, the difference there is a factor of 9 over 5. So the delta T in centigrade is equal to um, 5 over 9 times 65 Fahrenheit degrees. Now notice that I'm not adding or subtracting 32 because I just want to see the difference in the temperature so the 32 here doesn't matter. For that I'm going to need my calculator. So 65 divided by 9 times 5 is 36.1 degrees centigrade. So this is equal to 36.1 centigrade degrees. Notice it's centigrade degrees, not degree centigrade. So that's the difference in the temperature. Now, using the equation, the change in the length of the bridge is equal to the coefficient of linear expansion times the original length times the change in the temperature in centigrade degrees because the coefficient of linear expansion is expressed in terms of centigrade degrees. And since that's made out of steel, the coefficient of linear expansion is 11 times 10 to the uh, minus 6 um, per centigrade degree. All right, now let's plug that in here. So this is equal to 11 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree. Original length, 4,200 feet. I said, well, wait a minute. Why are you uh, mixing English units in feet with centigrade degrees? Well, we don't have to worry about that because only the centigrade degrees will cancel out and the final answer will be in feet, so it doesn't matter. Meters or feet is fine. And then the change in the temperature is, uh, let's see here, it was 36.1 centigrade degrees, and of course this cancels out with that. And we multiply the times 4,200 and multiply the times 11 e to the 6 minus equals... And look at that, the change in length of the bridge would be equal to 1.67 feet. Wow, that's almost 50 centimeters or a half a meter. That's a big change in the length. And so they have to make special arrangements between the sections there to allow for the expansion and the contraction of the bridge. Otherwise, the bridge would be destroyed in a matter of just a few years by all this uh, moving movement and expansion because of the change in the temperature. But anyway, that's how you do that. Now, if, of course, if you want to know the new length at a hot day, if this was the length when the temperature was 35 degrees Fahrenheit, of course, the new length would be this plus the change in the length. Okay, that's how you do that.